and welcome everyone to a new episode of the Road to Glory. So as you can see by the last two episodes, I'm up to 1.6 million on my account. Plus also I'm up to 1.7 million transfer profit. And also these are the two teams I'm doing. This is the daily knockout tournament. We're going to qualify for the weekend league. Uh, hopefully I will have time with a schedule I've put together. Hopefully I can get most of the games played this weekend. I will try my best to play as many games as I possibly can, plus my squad battles as well. Excuse me. But if you enjoyed today's video, please do smash the like button, subscribe if you're new, turn on notifications so you'll get notified. I will have a giveaway um, video out very soon as well. And on top of that, I'll be showing you the first two teams that I'm doing, and then one of the players and one of the teams changes, I think, like halfway through the tournament. And then we'll take it from there, okay? So, first of all, these are the teams that I've put together. So, this is my BPL team. I've, I've stripped away from the Serie A, went to the BPL, because um, pretty much I have Morata. And if I have Morata, I'll just put Song up there. And Giroud is phenomenal, all online, except for one game. So, 11, 10 game, 11 games, 6 goals, 7 assists. The man is phenomenal. 1-1 on, one on goal. He scores every single time. Song, not bad. 11 games, 11 goals, 8 assists. Pretty decent. Now, Morata, you know what he's like. He's a fucking living legend for the club. Now, I'm actually really shocked about him on how good he actually is in-game. Bought him for 1,100 coins, so it was nice. Bought these two as well, just because they're amazing CDMs. This partnership here, probably the best in the Premier League. Having used Apple Vaqueta, sorry for the pronunciation of it, uh, the Chelsea centre-back, haven't used him yet, I wouldn't mind upgrading to him. This guy's amazing as well, don't don't let his pace fool you, this man is actually phenomenal in game. Schmeichel is phenomenal, just like his dad, and we'll go into the second squad now. So everyone, this is the second squad, and I've got to say, this squad's pretty good too. Now, I actually bought this guy just because... The high defensive work rates, it works this time. It works this year. He will stay just in front of that back line and he will not move. The only downside, I think, in this team is probably the forward line and Laporta. Laporta's too slow. Uh, today I can deal with 74 pace, but Laporta's too slow. So I probably need a better centre back there. Probably with better. He's great defensive abilities, I'll give him that. But when it comes to overall pace, defence and physical, that is what you concentrate on when you look at a defender in FIFA. He just doesn't have it. Him, I just have him there because he's 83. Did I pack him? Did I? I bought him for 1.4k, you know what I mean? So he's just there because he's an 83 with a card, that's the way I look at it. Ben Yeri, he's perfect just because he doesn't have the physicality but he does have the 5 star weak foot and 4 star skills. Him, um, as you've probably seen, I did pack him so he's tradable. Um, also, I bought him for 1.3k. I think he's well done. Paulinho as well. Bought him for loads. So if he ever gets an inform, I'll get rid of him. Steven and Zonzi does get. He is the player that gets swapped around for a better player halfway through the tournament, guys. So these are the two teams. And as you can see, you've seen the two teams. So let's get into the gameplay and I'll show you how I won the daily knockout tournament and how well I did as well. Ah, well everyone, if you made it this far, muchly appreciated it. So, what can I say? Uh, this guy, he was decent. He was decent. I, I, even though it was all over him, I will give it to him. He, he did have, I did have a lot of chances and he did defend very well. Excuse me. This was the first round as well. Just to let you all know as well. But, um, like, this chance, I wanted to put it far, but eh, I don't know about the aiming system. FIFA, uh, they have, it's not the perfect game. It really isn't. I really did think this was a goal. It's not the perfect game, but it's pretty close. So this guy brought me a penalties in the first round. So I speeded this up a bit because it would take too long, you know what I mean? So I guessed right there. I'm, I'm getting way, I'm getting good at guessing where people are actually going to go. So, um... There, I guessed again, so that was like two in a row I saved, and then I I scored three in a row, and then he scored his third, but then I had to score the fourth to win, which was pretty easy. So I, I cruised through the first round, and as you can see here, I had enough. Um, uh, in Zonzi, out, stayed in the club though. I kept him in the club, and Modric back in. So this is the second team anyway I'm going to use. 
So um, we're on to the second team, just taking Steven and Zonzi out, putting Modric in, and we're on to the second game. Now this guy had a great team. See, Matic might pick him up on... I think it's Sunday, usually, is the play... Um, the What do you call it? The squad battle. So what I will do is probably pick up um, Matic, because he's phenomenal. Uh, I've got to say, so I would like to pick him up and see what he's like in game. Um, Snyder's doing a good job though in CDM, so I'm um, happy enough with that as well. And here, uh, look at that for a ball roll. Wasn't well, that delightful? That was delightful. That it was really good. Song's really good, but then there's times when he's not really good, and you'll see in the next video, and also in the next video, we we get a bit lucky. This like he's phenomenal when he wants to be, but. At times he's not, you know what I mean? I don't know, I don't know what it is. But cruised through the second, 3-0. This guy tested me. This guy tested me. It's not this guy, it's it's this formation. When I come up against this formation, I find it really hard to beat. Now look at that. Really, is that a penalty? Like, really, ref? Is that what you're doing to me? You know what I mean? I had a feeling he was going down the middle too. But anyway, so Ben Yedder just decided to take it on his own and get us uh, back to 1-1. Because he's a uh, god. And then I got my own penalty. To me that was kind of a penalty. It looked pretty rough compared to the other one. But anyway. Uh, then I sealed it with a nice wee 3-1. So I got my two goal lead. Two goal leads pretty pretty nice. But seeing when you get a free goal lead. You just feel like you're you're on top of the world. You know what I mean? And this was nice because Ben Yedda's agility. And just puts a bottom bins keeper. Just turns into a fan. A spectator. So we cruised through the second round as well, which of uh, semi-final, sorry. So we're into the final. Now this guy was good. I, I will give it to him. He was annoying, but he was good. He was good. Now I did have a lot of chances to beat him as well. Um, I was trying my best to contain him more than anything. And Ozil, he, um, Giroud, sorry, Ozil. Uh, Giroud is phenomenal in the game. This was annoying because that that all came from me doing a stupid pass. So that that's really my fault. But I, I should have brought my defenders more in. So that was kind of annoying. And then I put Giroud through again. Two shots, two goals. What's the man like? He's a fucking living god. He is the goat for Arsenal. So I haven't tried like I said yet though. So I don't actually 100% know about that. But anyway. So two minutes left. What does he do? He scores. He scores. And then what does he do here? He scores a phenomenal finesse shot. So yeah. So I'm thinking, okay, we're not winning this. Well, we'll move on to the next the next attempt. But I took my time there, put it in, and now we're in the penalties once again. So I'm, I'm happy enough with that. You know, I'm happy enough to go to penalties. It, it, it doesn't bother me too much to go to penalties because just for the sheer fact that, you know, it, it's, it's not... Like he could have, he could have scored here. That was good defending. You know what I mean? But at the same time, it. I I was annoyed because I, I let him I let him up. You know what I mean? I, I gave him a chance. If you know what I mean. But we went the penalties here, so I speeded it up. So I missed my first penalty. Not greatly. Saved his penalty. Scored my second penalty. Nicely done. That was that was nicely done. He missed the second by Miles. I scored my third with Giroud. He scored his third, so he scored his first penalty. So I think I had two chances to win the game. He read me there, very well done. And I saved that one. So really I still had an or uh, I had one chance but I ended up putting it in. So in the end guys we won the tournament with a lovely wee finesse uh, just into the corner. It was beautiful. It was nice. You know what I mean? So we won the tournament. Also on top of that, we get the Japan special kit that the EA was giving us as well. So guys, let's go into the live part of the video. And I really can't wait for episode 20. It, the pack look is back. Okay? So let's go into the live part of the video. What can I say, guys? I played really well in my final. He played really well as well. You know, uh, I'll definitely text him after I do this video and uh, congratulate him. Because he, he actually played really well. Like... For the team that he had, see that guy is left forward like he was phenomenal. But um, that formation he plays, it's very effective. I don't know. Might actually try that out. And uh, I just want to point out, Yemsey, you're full of shit. Giroud is fucking unreal. 
two goals and assist that man got in this game. Unreal. And maybe I actually put him as my captain. He's that good. But anyway, uh, so we won the tournament, daily knockout tournament, qualified for the weekend league. As you can see, he had a lot of chances. Like, we'll just go through some of them. I don't even think, no, nah, it doesn't even show half of them. Like. But uh, a Giroud is a clinical finisher. What really annoyed me is this. Is it this goal? Yeah, it's near. Like, if I would have just brought my centre-backs back in, I would have defended it better. But I am getting better at defending, even though I drew this game. This guy was just, was just really good, and I beat him on penalties. I'm actually half decent at penalties this year. I don't know why. I know how to read people. Uh, I'm very good at reading people. And I get the Japan kit, which is nice. So it's a more special kit to the collection. And as you know, I did buy Modric as we were... Um, pretty much playing the tournament uh, on the way. I actually bought uh, Luka Modric on frigging believable. So, um, oh, I actually done the Game of Nations on my Xbox as well and got the exact same player. Just for, like throwing that out there, yeah. Uh, so, pretty much Giroud, I'm gonna actually just show you his stats all online. I think one game was on, uh, one game was offline, which was the uh, squad battles, but it's on legendary. 10 games, 6 goals, 6 assists. The man is an absolute baller. And see his finishing? Impeccable. Right? See from corners. Wins every single header. Doesn't matter who he comes up against. He wins every single header. Which is amazing. Like, he's so good. Um, I've missed very little with him as well. When it comes to um, pretty much like one-on-ones and all. And his passing's uh, really good as well. And in calm is nice because he's... He's medium, medium work rate, so he actually comes back and helps the midfield out. And since he's very strong, it helps because he can hold the ball off. Just say he comes back, someone wins the ball, he can hold the ball, pass it around. You know, he's just so strong as well. I think, uh, what's his strength? Strength's in 94, his aggression's 70 something. So he, he's pretty, pretty strong, <laughs> I've got to say. But guys, uh, what can I say? I won the daily knockout tournament once again. Uh, let's see how many actually I've actually won. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, so trophies uh, online. So I've won one, two, three. I've won three. Right. Okay. So that's in the thirtieth. Then that's seven days later. Then that's okay. So I've, I've qualified for the last two weekend, uh, three weekend leagues. If I'm correct, is it last two? Last two or three. So not too bad. Um, at online divisions, I'm not playing on well in online divisions, but I'm playing well in the weekend league doesn't make sense that doesn't really tally up for me I don't know why that is but anyway guys um, also uh, in the next video I want to be doing these SBCs where's the SBCs see these SBCs here I want to be doing these so over I have done that SBC so that's okay but I want to be doing that over Black Friday and I also want to do these league SB not the league SBCs these SBCs I want to complete all these over the next week or two as well with um because you get a rare mega pack for that you get a 55k pack for that and one for that and then you get 12,000 coins plus also um, packs with that so i kind of want to complete them also let me know down in the comments on how you thought about the the daily knockout tournament subscribe if you're new um smash the like button if you enjoyed and also comment down below on how you think i should improve my team thanks for watching and crap out